Yeah, welcome back. Um, I just want to do a, do a quick show and tell of this vase. If you haven't already seen the video, it is the previous video, go ahead and have a look. So I'm actually very, very happy with the way this has turned out. This is all transparent. So you could use it as a jug or a, a, a jar or a... Um, candle holder, tea light candles, LED, you can use it as a centerpiece. Well guys, let's get on with today's video. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas and um, I'll run through my paints very quickly with you. I am using um, Arteza Burnt Umber. And crimson and the Deco Art Venetian Gold and some yellow. This is medium yellow and this is the consistency. So it's pretty much a mound on a mound on a mound. And then I have um, antique white. I love this antique white. That's the crimson. And the burnt umber. And this is the Venetian gold. Very, very nice. Love that color as well. Okay. <clears throat> So, I'm going to go in with a yellow first. And then antique white. And crimson. And guys, there's still a 20% discount code, um, discount on paints it is um, Derivan so have a look in the dis description I'll leave the discount code there it's in the link it's Bade Art I'll put a little bit of this in it's Bade Art 20 or uppercase looks like I'm going to have too much paint here again So I've actually just added the crimson in because I want just a little bit of that, you know, spurt of, of colour. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. Okay, so that's looking really pretty. actually add uh, maybe a bit more of this crimson the crimson is beautiful it actually um, is such a beautiful red it's a deep deep red okay so that looks like a really, really nice cup. Let me set that to the side. Just 
just spreading that out a little bit. This Venetian gold is so nice. Okay, let's go. I'm going to be doing a straight pour. And I'm going to start high up. So the higher you pour, the more cells will appear. Okay, I'm going to give that a bit of a torch. And that gold is absolutely stunning. I'm just moving it around a little bit. I don't want to mess with my composition too much. So I'm trying to maintain this part, not let it fall off. So even if I have to stretch it first, Sorry guys, I think you're off screen. I just want to turn this around. I might just give that another torch quickly. are a lot of bubbles because I've just mixed up my paints. And then I'm going to go off over there. Try not to lose too much. And bring it back. 
then I need to actually have a look at my composition Okay. I'm just doing my edges quickly while I make a decision. Alright guys, <clears throat> I've decided I am going to leave it just the way it is, so I will bring you in for a close up. Alright guys, uh, here it is, so I absolutely love this. <laughs> At first I wasn't too sure how it was going to turn out, or you know, what result I was going to get. I think it turned out really, really beautiful. So I absolutely love it. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.